In this video, I will teach you six basic Excel functions. Our first function is product. This is my sample data and I want to multiply the quantity of different items with the price. I'll start my function with the equal sign, type product and press tab. It is giving me an option to select the data. I'll click on 10, comma, and now you can see that the number 2 is highlighted in the function. So I'll select number 2 which is 200. Close the parenthesis and press enter. This is the product of my first item which is with cell C2 with D2. Now I don't have to type the product function for each item. There are two ways I can easily apply this function to the rest of the items. First one is I'll select the cell and on the lower right corner of the highlighted cell there is a tiny square this is called autofill handle. I'll just click on it and drag it to the last item which is hands free. For second method, I'll press Ctrl plus D and now I'll select all the cells in the column and just press Ctrl plus D. Second function is sum. Now I have the product of all the items and want to calculate the grand total. For this, I'll use sum function. In the cell, type equals sum and press tab. Now the function is asking me to add numbers and I'll drag from the total of first item to the last item. Close the parenthesis and press enter. There is another way to select cells or range of cells. I'll remove the function and again equals sum plus tab and select the first cell from the keyboard. Now I'll press control plus shift plus down arrow key. You don't need to close the parenthesis each time but it's a good practice to close it and press enter. Next function is max and min. As the name suggests, it means to find the maximum or a minimum value in a column. For the max function, type equals max press tab and select the range of the cells in which we want to find the maximum value. Close parenthesis and press enter. Same for the minimum function, equals press tab and select the range of cells, close parenthesis and press enter. Our maximum value in total is 11,200 and minimum value is 1000. I can also find the max and min function for other columns too. If I change any value, the max and min result will also change accordingly. In the meanwhile, if I want to change my values to a comma style, I'll just select the cells and in the home tab, under number group, I'll click on comma style. Now my numbers are in comma style, but I don't want them in decimal points. So again in the number group, I'll click two times on decrease decimal option. Our next function is proper. This function converts the first letter of each word to uppercase. As you can see in the column B, the first letter of each item is lowercase. To do this, with the help of a function, I'll start with equals, proper, press tab, and now it says to select text. And I'll select the cells, close parenthesis and press enter. Now copy them. On the cell of first item, press right click and under the paste option click on values. To remove these names I'll just right click on the column F and click on delete. Next function is average. In column H I have my total sales for each month. Now I want to calculate the average for each month. For this I'll start with equal sign average and press tab and select the range of data then close parenthesis and press enter. This is my average. The purpose of sum if function is to add up value in a range of cells that meet a specific criteria. For example, I have my grand total of all the items, but I only want to see the total of laptop bags. To do this, I'll start my function with equals sum if press tab and now the function says select a range. So I'll select my all items, comma. Next it is asking me to select the criteria means which item you want to select. So I'll start with double quotes and type laptop bag close comma again and now I'll select a sum range which is my column E then close the parenthesis and press enter. I only have one cell which contains laptop bag. What if I have my laptop bag in multiple cells? For example if I replace headphones with laptop bag now look at the column J which means it will be automatically changes. 